Hello guys, welcome, welcome, Hanna here and this time we are going to play again Kokoro Bakan Monogatari but we are going to follow Genki-chan's Hark on the last playthrough I have made it was Moku-chan's Hark now we are following Genki-chan's Hark and to start Genki-chan's Hark you need to um, win the cassette words contest you have to have more points than the other team which is Vichu-san and Moku-chan's team uh, in other words 5 points and they have to have 4 points so let's begin here are the rules I'm gonna play a cassette tape of a nice man speaking words to you you will have to spell these words correctly using your data computers seriously turn your volume up we ain't fucking around here sounds simple enough good good here we go battle starts the word is troglodyte 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 soda san and player san you are correct pichu san and yakisoba san you are also correct next question the word is charade charade Charade. Nicely spelled, saw the sun in player sun. You are correct. Pichu sun in Yaki saw the sun. You are correct again. Next question. Your word is anthropomorphized. 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 Saw the sun in player sun. You are correct. What clever student! You must think very highly of yourselves. Furthermore, it seems that Player Sun is probably Euro European. Sorry about the first Kokoro game. We really do think you are swell. Bichu san and Yakisoba san, you are incorrect. Please take this seriously for Yakisoba san's sake, Bichu san. Next question. Your word is enamored. 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 Soda san and player san, you are correct. Lovely work! Good job, Bichu san and Yakisoba san. Seems like you are finally getting rid of all that pent up hostility. Doesn't it feel good to just let it go? Next question! Your word is unenthusiasm. 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 Good job, Soda san and player san. That is correct. How impressive! Bichu san, Nyaki Sova san, you are correct. Battle final. Alright, let's tally up the scores. Yaki Sova san and Bichu san have scored 4 points. What the fuck, ice cream? <laughs> we should have gotten a perfect score. This is not your fault. Yeah, right, we would have gotten a zero if it wasn't for me. No way, you were dragging this team down with your attitude. Attitude has nothing to do with intelligence. If anything, it's ever silly proportional if you are any indication of a correct correlation. Stop making up words trying to sound smart. Honestly, Vichu san, you don't need to prove anything here. It's just a game. Okay. Player san in Soda san, you girls have scored 5 points! Oh my! Good goddamn! We did it, Tuchan! You are amazing! We won! I didn't know any of those words. You carried the team. I am always the one who does that. It's like I'm the muscle and you are the brains. Together we can do anything. What an odd thing for Genki Chan to say. I wonder if she is proposing me for Konilingus. Hey, what's going on here? What do you mean, Mokuchan? You are complimenting someone other than me. That's not allowed. Quick, tell me I'm pretty. Uh, you're pretty. Damn straight. But like, what's wrong with me saying nice things to Tuchan? Isn't she our friend? Ah! <laughs> hmm, what the heck? Oh shit, you're for real? 
I keep forgetting what I a sweet little gullible gundrop you are. Don't you remember that thing we do? Where we pretend to befriend new kids so that we can learn all their secrets and torment them b better? Why would Mokuchan say that in front of me? We did the same thing to the Ice Queen as first years, remember? Yeah, but like, the Ice Queen is totally lame and weird, Tuchan is kinda red. Alright, enough kidding around. Next time I hear you complimenting someone other than me, you are getting the goose. What the fuck does that mean? Come on, Mokuchan, I think you are overreacting a little here. Excuse me? Have you forgotten who is the man? Mine, bitch! And who is the sidekick in this relationship? Yeah, about that. I don't really appreciate being called your sidekick all the time. Where the hell is this coming from? I have been meaning to tell you for a while. It doesn't make me feel very good, you know. Uh, excuse me? How about you girls settle this after class? Shut up, you dumb broad. This doesn't concern you. I really don't have the patience today. I will be in the teacher's lounge. I meant what I said. I don't like how you have been treating me lately. Now that I got Tuch and backing me up, backing me up, I finally got the nerve to say it. You are backing me up, right? Uh, sure. This doesn't feel very comfy. Oh, so now this bitch is the new Mokuyobi. You think her scrawny ass can fill my shows? Why would I wear shows on my butt cheeks? Ready to remind you what a wreck you were when you first came here? If it wasn't for me, you'd still be all alone, crawling around on the soccer field looking for weird shaped coins to add to your collection. You're pathetic without me. Listen, I just think there is room in my life for more than one friend, that's all. Nope, it's my way or the highway. Take it or leave it, toots. I don't like that you're putting me in this position. I feel like this situation needs some de-escalation. De What's everyone's favorite flavor of ice cream? Shut up, you fucking crap, or I'll murder you. I think I <laughs> might stay out of this for a while. Two chance right. I think we need to shield my dudes. My favorite ice, ice cream is cookie, though. I like a strawberry. Shut up, shut up! Genki chan you're my best friend! Stop this madness right now! I don't want you to hate me, Moku-chan. I just want more friends than just you. Then you can go fucking rot for all I, I care. You're not with me, then you are my enemy. Moku-chan, you can't be serious. I am, you traitor. You are even worse than the Ice Queen. You are the lowest of the low. After all we have been through, you're going to pick this oversized toasted marshmallow over me? Is she talking about me? Mokuchan, I'm sorry. Let's talk about this. Fuck off! Yeah, I can go die in a fire for all I care. I'm leaving. Whoa! Well, that was confusing. I don't really know what I'm supposed to do right now. Welcome to my world. <laughs> I, I can't believe that just happened. After all these years, what have I done? I can't do this, I need to be alone. Well, that was weird. Shut up. <laughs> Alright then. I can't believe I came between such a good friends. <laughs> On some real, I didn't expect my first day of school to be quite this eventful. I won a spelling contest, destroyed a friendship and I guess I made a new friend. I bet Genki-chan is feeling completely dejected and lost. I hope I can help her. I'm going to have to talk to her about this tomorrow. She is going to need all the emotional support I can give her. I'm gonna go home and get some rest. It's been a long way. Oh, so cute. We are a few weeks into the first term now and I still haven't spoken with Genki-chan. It's not for lack of wanting to, she just hasn't been coming to class. I'm starting to wonder if she has just dropped out entirely. I understand why she might want to, considering her dramatic falling out with Mokuchan. 
If she has dropped out, then won't be some major bad news for me though. I have absolutely no friends here, none. It's getting pretty lonely to be honest. My only hope is that someday Genki-chan will return to my, to be my friend. But I'm looking on the bright side. Last night, I got a fortune cookie that said chance meetings upon open. Add new doors of friendship. Holy crap, that fortune cookie was totally right. Thank you fortune cookie god. I will offer <laughs> libations to the deity next chance I get. Kinky Chen, you look different. I'm kinda tired today. I was actually worried I'd be running late this morning. I was up late last night watching a TV show. That's not what I meant. Your skin looks a lot darker. Yeah, that's because I was uh, tanning. Oh, whoa, did you go on vacation? You must have stayed at a luxurious waterfront resort. Yeah, that's exactly what I did. And what happened to your hair? Oh, well, you see. I know. You saw how, how the latest pop idols have been dyeing their hair lately. And you wanted to get in on to the trend. Of course, red is a pretty sexy color, isn't it? I tried to giggle, but it just comes out as this <laughs> flag me cross laugh. You went better tell me twice. I put I put one hand in on my hip, and I snapped my other wrist towards my head, pointing at my reddish hair. I wink and show off my whining smile. I stay in this pose a few seconds too long. Yankee Chad doesn't seem to take in by my stylish posing. She just stares at me with a vacant look in her eyes. This all looked so much better in my head. Right, the second bell rings. Time for class! Sorry to ask you this, but my memory's been pretty foggy lately. Are we in the same class? Oh! How could Yankee Chan forget something like that? You mean you don't remember? Yankee Chan shifts her weight uncomfortably for a moment, is hesitant to give any response. It's me, too! You told me how smart I was when we had that spelling quiz, remember? That does sound vaguely familiar. That's what led to the whole argument with Maku-chan. You said you wanted to be my friend. Do you remember now? Of course, I'm sorry. I must have partied a little too hard on vacation. How could I forget my best friend, Tuchan? Did, did, did she just call me your best friend? I was not expecting that. Things just got interesting real quick. Now that I'm Genki's, Genki's new best friend, I can use this influence to my advantage. I finally have someone who will defend me against the Mercile's attack of bullies. We should probably get going, don't want to be late. Lead the way, Tuchan. Yeah. I take my seat near the door. This is where I usually sit so that I can leave really fast in case of an emergency, like when class is over. Genki Chen walks in behind me and takes a seat rest next to me. Nobody else is here yet, not even Opai Sensei. She's late almost every day actually. I bounce up and down in my seat with a stupid grin on my face. This is gonna be awesome! Yeah! I can't wait for shit to hit the fan when Moku-san and Bitch's son show up, Genki-chan will totally defend me from those bullies. I bet she will even beat them, beat them up for me. This is gonna be so freaking rad. Here they are, it's got time. Well, 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 looks what the cat dragged in. It's a traitor and their modern sidekick. Ha ha ha, Genki-san, did you dye your hair to match your underling? Yeah, how look like Tweedledum and Tweedledumber. Mokusan's pitiful laugh is shrill and piercing. Come on, Kurushan, laugh with me. Ah, uh, yes, yes! <laughs> Mokusan sounds like a psychopath when she laughs like that. Well, more than usual, I should say. Yo, can you shield? That's easy for you to say. You're not the one who was betrayed by your best friend. You're acting like a total lunatic. Lunatic. Why can't we just get along? Never. I will fucking end you, you traitorous scumbag. I get it. You're upset. Can we just 
I'll act like adults here. I think that's a good su suggestion. Will you bet out of this, Kuru-chan? Nobody asked for your opinion. Kuru Moku-chan rolls her eyes. It's so hard to find good help these days. Geki-chan isn't pummeling them into the ground as I had hoped. Perhaps I overestimated their self-confidence. Listen here, Genki-san. You are my arcanemy now, so it's my job to hunt you till the end of your pathetic life. I don't know if anything's ever told you this, but your personality is incredibly irritating. Good morning, class. Wow, everyone's here today. Nice to see you finally decide to join us, Soda-san. Yeah, sure. Since everyone is here, uh, now would be best time for me to make my announcement. This is a very important announcement, so let listen up. We are not going to be having any more quizzes or tests in class, save for one final exam that will be administrated at the end of the year. Your eligibility for graduation will solely depend on these one tests. So please, I beg of you, do not skip class that day. I am looking at you, Sada-san. It is imperative that you are all here that day. Yeah, whatever. I'm serious, Jackie Sava-san. There will be sig significant repercussions if you are not around on exam day. So what are we supposed to do during class now? Just because we aren't going to have exams doesn't mean we won't learn. What's something you have always wanted to learn? How to murder someone without getting in trouble. There, <laughs> the reason why I haven't killed myself already. Honestly, Mongolian throat singing. That shit's cray. I wanna figure out how to get in this Ben Wobel ball out of my vagina. It's been there for like days at this point. Do you think I should see a doctor about it? Uh, Opai senses groans and mumbles something to herself. No amount of money is worth this. This is just impossible, meaningless. Do whatever the hell you want, I don't care, whatever. I'll be in the teacher's lounge until I'm allowed to leave. Cool, I'm going home now. Sweet, can I come with you? Now, might not be the best time. What, are you just gonna run away now? You can't run from your destiny forever, Genki-san. Your day of reckoning has finally come. My name is Yakisaba Mokuyobi, but you might as well call me your worst fucking nightmare. Uh, second thought, sure thing, Tuchen, you can tag along. You can run, but you can't hide. I know where you live. Actually, I might have to ask you for a favor. Would you mind helping me out of it? No problem, Gekichen. What are best friends for? Thanks, I will tell you the details along the way. Cool. So did you get all that? Well, I don't know what Genki Chen told us, but we are going to know that on the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Peace out. <laughs>